We went back to the class. We're okay yet. We wait for Giovanni. Come and sit down, Sid. Charlie. This is Sid, the caretaker. Most happy to be making your acquaintance. <laughs> nice to meet you. You want a cup of coffee, Sid? Aye. A cup of coffee? No, thanks. No, I'd sooner have a fag. Sure you can have a fag. Hey, Max, cigarette for Sid. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> Sid is gonna talk to us. What is he going to be talking about? For well, anything. It's to improve our English. Instead of us all the time speak to each other, we speak with Sid. I think that's a good idea. But what are we gonna talk about? You'll have to talk up. I'm a bit Martin Jeff. <laughs> Excuse me. Who are these Martin Jeff? <laughs> Martin Jeff is Jeff. Ah, excuse him. What are we gonna talk about? Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't have seen you and rest my plates of meat. If you please, I am not seeing any plates of meat. <laughs> no, no, plates of meat is feet. Your feet are plates of meat? Yeah, it's slang, you see. It's dead easy if you use your Uncle Ned. Uh, no, 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 Uncle Ned. Huh? No, Uncle Ned, your Uncle Ned. Uncle Ned? Uncle yeah. Ned? Yeah. Oh, you mean he's crazy? No, I think you lot are, though. I think you're taking a mickey out of me. No. Well, we are interested in everything you tell us. Yeah. You're already teaching us words we not learned before. Yes, please teach us more. Yeah? All right, I'll tell you what happened to me last night. Yes, okay. please. Well, I went home and I had a bull and a cow with a travel and stripe, you see. <laughs> it was all over the dustbin lids. So I went down the frog and toad into the rubber dub and I met an old china plate. It looked a bit Uncle Dick, so I got him a Jake and a Dandy and I had a real in him. <laughs> One thing led to the other, we both got Brahms and List. <laughs> and I'd staggered home, took all my dicky dirt and my daisy roots and fell backwards on the apples and pears. <laughs> We are better off talking with each other. <laughs> Isn't it time you were all back in the classroom? Oh, sorry, Professor. We, we've just been talking with Sid. Oh, oh yeah, I've, I've been trying to help them with their English, Mr. Brown. Well, that should set them back a few weeks. <laughs> Big pardon? Oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, all right. <laughs> we're not understanding a word he's saying, Mr. Brown. He's telling us about his Uncle Dick and somebody <laughs> called Jack the Dandy and Brahms and Liszt. <laughs> he was speaking in rhyming slang. And all the time we think he's English. <laughs> he is English. He's what is known as a Cockney. You see, rhyming slang is merely using words that rhyme with the word you wish to use. For example, mince pies are eyes. Plates of meat are feet. Yes. I understand. Uncle Ned is hay. That's right. Ah. And what is Uncle Dick? <laughs> well, I presume that's uh, sick. And Jock the Dandy? Brandy. And the Brahms and Lister? <laughs> Drunk. But that's not a rhyme. Yeah, well, it's near enough. Come on, it's... Uh... <laughs> what is going on in here? Where is Mr. Brown? Oh, he will be here any minute. He's coming from the tea room. <laughs> <laughs> Ten minutes is the normal time allowed for tea, Mr. Brown. Yes, of course. We were discussing parts of speech. Well, in future, I'd be obliged if you'd do it in the class. Certainly. Now then, how are your students coming along with their English? Oh, extremely well. Good. Then I shall stay and listen for a few minutes. Ah. Oh, don't worry, I shan't interfere. I make it a practice to drop in on the classes from time to time to see what sort of progress is being made. It's uh, beef stroganoff in the cookery class tonight. Are you trying to get rid of me? No, I just thought you might uh, fancy a bit. I, I mean... <laughs> Well, I don't, so will you please begin? Yes, yes, of course. Right, for the rest of this period, we're going to talk about shopping. Ah, oh, I like him. He's very good. <laughs> um, shopping. I like his polonaise. Do you 
Giovanni, that's, um, that's Chopin. He, he must have misheard me. Now, we're going to talk about shopping, buying things. Now, I have here various items, which at some time or another you'll all probably have to purchase. So I'm going to hold them up and ask you to identify them and we'll see how well you do, all right? Who should we start with? Ali? Yes, please. What is this? Apple. Yeah. <laughs> Lovely. Jelly good. You're not supposed to eat it. Oh, I'm most sorry. I only had a small bite. <laughs> You may as well finish it now. Suli, what is this? It is orange. <laughs> orange. Orange. That's better. You really must work at those R sounds. I try very hard. Try saying, round the rugged rock, the ragged rascal ran. <laughs> Lown the lugged lock, the lugged <laughs> Yes, you're going to have to keep practising. Anna, what is this? Paper bag. Yes. <laughs> yes, but what's inside it? I do not know. I cannot see inside. Well, it's flour. You know what flour is. Yeah, what you wear at a wedding. <laughs> no, 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 it's not that kind of flour. This is flour to make pastry and bread. Ah, vice mail. Yes. Oh. Jamila? Gee. What is this? Gadget. <laughs> yes, I'm sure you're right, but what is it in English? Ingrisi mini pata. Have you never heard of a carrot? Carrot? Yes, carrot. Oh, ha! Huh? Horace and carrot. <laughs> Incredible. No, 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 Jimmy, that's horse and cart. This is. This is a carrot. Right? Uh, who can tell me what these are? Fingers. Good. Well done. Then. Excuse, please. No, Ali, don't say it. <laughs> what do I not say? You were going to say something about fish not having fingers? Yes, please. Yeah, well, don't bother. <laughs> Max. Tomato. Good. Taro. Potato. <laughs> Potato. Ah, so. <laughs> Plan, uh, Giovanni. A lima juice. Good. Juan. Cow juice. No. <laughs> milk. Ah, see, milk. Do you know where we get milk from, Juan? Si, senora. The milk man. Uh, <laughs> Why, please, we, we get milk from cows. Si, vaca, cow. <laughs> Ranjit. Cornflakes? No oats. Oats? Ah, that is oats. My friend, who I am working with, every morning he's telling me last night he's having his oats. He's telling me he's liking them very much. Yeah, I'm sure he does. Who can tell me what this is? Bacon. Good. And where does ba bacon come from? Uh, the milkman. Bacon does not come from the milkman. Every week I buy the bacon from the milkman. No. Pig. Pig. Pig? You are calling me a pig? <laughs> you are a pig, you Italian ravioli. Ah, shut your plates of meat, you Uncle Milk. That's all right, that'll, that'll do. One, what Giovanni was trying to say is that bacon comes from a pig. Sora. Now, can anyone tell me what we call a pig after it has been killed? Yes, please. It is a dead pig. <laughs> no, Ali, you know that's pork. Right. Uh, what is this? Anybody? Tin of meat. Yes. Well, actually, it's a tin of dog meat. Oh, blimey. <laughs> you are putting dogs in tins to eat? I think I've heard enough. Uh, they are better than they were. They could hardly be worse. <laughs> She's absolutely right, you know. Some of you are very behind with your English. I mean, I spend a lot of time preparing these lessons, and some of you don't take them half as seriously as you might. It's time you all put your shoulders to the wheel. What wheel, please? <laughs> Learning. I think you'd better stay a half hour extra tonight. Oh. Oh. It's Friday night! Haven't I got a date? Yeah, well, I don't care. I want you to do all the exercises on page 53. All of them. And you don't go until you've finished. Oh.
Good night. I've locked up the tea room, Sid. Thanks, Glad. You fancy a drink, girl? No, Tal, I want to get home. Oh, I must have a pint. My throat's spitting feathers. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What was that? I think it is somebody at the door. Oh, come in. Is anybody there? Cheerio, Sid. See you Monday. Good night, Freddy. Can't get it open. I know. Why not we smash the door up? Down. <laughs> it's worth a try. All right. Stand back, everyone. Be careful of splinters. <laughs> Dramatic. Maybe we all shout again. Oh, I don't think my throat could stand anymore. Hey, look, there's a man in the street. Oh, right, right. Help! 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 If you don't hear us from up here, wave to him. <laughs> He's seen us. Good. He's a waving back. <laughs> yes, he obviously thinks we're just being friendly. Ah, uh, he's a gone. We are all going to die. <laughs> Nobody is going to die. What we need is something to attract the attention of the passerby. Yeah. Danielle should wave from window by herself. Yes, it still may not be sufficient to attract enough attention. It would if she took her clothes off. <laughs> That's a good idea. Yeah. No, it isn't. Look, it's just, just, just sit, sit down. Everyone, go. We'll just have to think this one out. It must be a simple solution. And, well, if there isn't, we'll just have to stay here till somebody misses one of us. But what if nobody is missing anybody? We could be being stuck here together until Monday morning. Oh, yes. We are all going to die. <laughs> Pally, nobody is going to die. Only you is going to die. Me? Yes, because if you say we're all going to die once more, I shall strangle you. <laughs> and there are 11 of us here. It's quite obvious that sooner or later, one of us will be missed. Will you be being missed, sir? Well, no, but I live alone in a flat. But, for example, take Danielle. I would love to take it, Daniel. <laughs> I am sure that being an au pair, your English family will miss you when you don't return. No. They're away for the weekend. Oh. Oh, well, Anna, what about your English family? Are they away? No. They'll obviously be worried. No. No? It's my weekend off. I was spending it with Daniel. Oh. We are all going to die. Ali! <laughs> well, Taro, what about you? You're married. I mean, won't your wife miss you? Wife, already missing me. Well, there you are. Uh, unfortunately, she is with parents in Tokyo. <laughs> well, uh, well, what about you, Giovanni? I mean, you work in a restaurant. Surely your employer will miss you. Yeah, sure he's going to miss me. Yeah, well, so presumably he'll do something about it. Yeah. But he's going to give me the sack. <laughs> well, look, somebody is bound to miss somebody, and if... If the worst happens, then we'll... Well, don't worry, we can survive the weekend. We've got plenty of food and drink. We just have to keep our spirits up, try and keep cheerful, think of things to do to pass the time away. I tell a joke. Good idea, Giovanni. We'll all tell jokes. That'll help pass the time. Go ahead, Giovanni. <coughs> OK. Now, there was this man, see, and he had gangrene in the leg. Are you sure? <laughs> so? Are you sure this is a joke? Sure, it's a very funny. <laughs> Anyway, he goes to the hospital to have the leg chopped off. <laughs> After the operation, when he comes back to being conscious, 
He sees the doctor looking very worried. <laughs> What's the matter, doctor, he say? The doctor reply, Senor, I have the bad news and I have the good news. <laughs> so the man say, hockey cocky. <laughs> Give me the bad news. And the doctor say, I've chopped off the wrong leg. <laughs> Santa Maria, the man say. Well, what's the good news? And the doctor say, your other leg is getting better. <laughs> Joke. Very troll. Uh, another Uncle Ned. <laughs> Anybody else got a funny story? Do you know it takes two seeks to milk one goat? Two. Yes, please. One to be holding the tits and one to be pulling the goat up and down. Up and down. In Pakistan, they have no ice because the man who is knowing to be making ice has emigrated. <laughs> are you saying all Pakistanis are stupid? No, just you. Yeah. <laughs> um, sit down. No more racialist jokes, please. Anybody else got a funny story? A favor. A funny story, a, a joke, a chiste. Ah, chiste. You think no? Yes. Resulta que habían tres hermanos. Y estos tres hermanos estaban invitados a este convite, ¿no? Y le dijeron que no se rascaran porque tenía sarna. Uno tenía sarna, ¿sí? el otro tenía sarna. ¿sí? Y el otro tenía sarna aquí. ¿sí? Y cuando estaban comiendo, Y decía, ¡oh, un que te pasa! Extremely hilarious if you only knew what it was about. <laughs> Taro, what about a Japanese joke in English, please? <laughs> Old Japanese proverb say, Men who seduces girl on hillside, not on the level. What about a sample of Chinese humor? In Democratic Republic of China, we have no time for decadent bourgeois humor. No, I don't suppose you do. <laughs> Danielle, what about you? Oh, I have a French joke for you. Good. Yes, I'll tell you about the Catholic priest. Yeah, that sounds That's better, well. yes. Come on. That's no, no, no. From... Tell us your look. Yeah. Oh, come on, Danielle. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> well. There was this priest out walking, and a gendarme comes up to him and say, Further, come quickly, there's a man on top of the Eiffel Tower and he's going to jump. So the father goes to the tower and sees this man. What are you doing? You're mad. Think of your family, think of your wife. So the man, he says, my wife has left me. I have no family. So I jump. So the priest, he tries one more time. So he says, but it is a sin against the Catholic Church. And the man, he says, I am not a Catholic. Okay, says the priest, jump. <laughs> yes, Anna, what about a German joke? I do not know any jokes. No? Hey, professori, why don't you tell us a joke, huh? Yeah. 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 Oh, all right, yeah. I'll tell you one that I heard at my last school. Uh, one of the boys was sent home one day, and his father asked him why was he sent home, and he refused to tell him. So the father went to see the headmaster, and the headmaster said, I'll tell you why your son was sent home. When uh, one of the teachers asked him who pushed over the walls of Jericho, he said, it wasn't me. 
So the father said, well, if he said he didn't do it, I, he didn't do it. <laughs> Excuse, please. What's the matter, Ali? Didn't you understand the joke? Yes, but uh, what I don't understand, who did push down the wall subject? <laughs> Anybody else got a joke? No? Oh, never mind. What about a singing song? Yeah. I am knowing good English sing song all about rolling me over in the clover. <laughs> so I don't think we want that one, thank you. Uh, does anybody know Daisy? Is she beautiful? <laughs> no, it's a song, Daisy. It goes like this. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer, do. I'm half crazy over the love for you. It will be I know it be like a We have a rest. I don't know that one. Is it French? <laughs> oh, what do you mean? Uh, yes, I'm sorry. Uh, can anybody tell me the exact time? Three minutes nach three minutes after eleven. Oh, only another fifty-eight hours till Monday morning. Good night, John. 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 Hello! What's up? I must be as drunk as you are. There's a teacher waving at me through the window. Oh, the eye must be worse than I thought. I can see him and I don't even know him. I hope you haven't dragged me down here on a wild goose chase. I'm telling you, I, I definitely saw him. It's most inconvenient. It's not my fault if I lost the key of the front door. Of course it's your fault, you silly little man. Ah, oh, at last. <laughs> Miss Courtney, how nice to see you. I'm afraid I can't return the compliment. Come on, come on, on you go. Good night. Good Sorry night. about all that. Come on now, quick. Good night, Good night, quickly. <laughs> I'll go and see if there's anybody else about. I really am very sorry. I should hope you are. I hope it hasn't inconvenienced you. Well, of course it's inconvenienced me. I was quite happily curled up in bed with Daphne du Maurier. <laughs> <laughs> I am really sorry about this. Oh, uh, I've... Uh, now what's the matter? Well, I've left my shopping in the closet. Well, for heaven's sake, hurry up and get it. Thank you. Are you going to take more knives? No, no, I'm just putting these things well, away. Well, do hurry up. <coughs> Sid? Sid? Sidney! Have a second locked in. Oh, we're going to have some panic. We can last out till Monday morning. Have a carrot. Let's have a sing song, shall we? Shall we start with Daisy? You know how it goes. Daisy, Daisy. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,
isn't it time we went back to the class? We're okay yet. We wait for Giovanni. Come and sit down, Sid. Charlie. This is Sid, the caretaker. Most happy to be making your acquaintance. <laughs> nice to meet you. You want a cup of coffee, Sid? I? A cup of coffee? No, thanks. No, I'd soon have a fag. Sure you can have a fag. Hey, Max, cigarette for Sid. Oh, that's very kind of you. <laughs> Sid is going to talk to us. What is he going to be talking about? For well, anything. It's to improve our English. Instead of us all the time speak to each other, we speak with Sid. I think that's a good idea. But what are we going to talk about? You'll have to talk up. I'm a bit Martin Jeff. <laughs> Excuse me. Who are these Martin Jeff? <laughs> Martin Jeff is Jeff. Ah, excuse me. What are we going to talk about? Oh, I don't know. I shouldn't have seen you and rest my plates of meat. <laughs> if you please, I am not seeing any plates of meat. <laughs> no, no. Plates of meat is feet. Your feet are plates of meat? <laughs> yeah. It's slang, you see. It's dead easy if you use your Uncle Ned. Uh, not, not Uncle Ned. Huh? No, Uncle Ned. Your Uncle Ned. Uncle Ned? Uncle yeah. Ned? Yeah. Oh, you mean he's crazy? No, I think you lot, I don't. I think you're taking the mickey out of me. No.